Today we're showing you the brand new automatic masking tools within Photoshop 2023. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you this awesome new update with Photoshop. It allows you to automatically select different areas of your subject using artificial intelligence. We're jumping into Adobe Camera Raw and showing you how to use all of these amazing new tools and showing you my tips and tricks for better workflow. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop. Our image looks great, but we have a couple things I want to change. I want to maybe draw a little bit more attention to our subject's eyes. I want to bring some more detail to the like fabric around our subject. And I want to show you these amazing new masking tools. So this is available as a filter, Adobe Camera Raw filter within Photoshop. Now, all these tools are also available in the Lightroom suite. So Lightroom Desktop, Lightroom Classic, Lightroom Mobile, all of these tools are available there. We've got new tutorials coming up soon that are going to show you how to do that as well. The first thing we want to do is our background layer. What we want to do is right click here and just make that a smart object. That way I can undo these changes at any time. So this step is super important in Photoshop. However, if you're in Lightroom, don't worry about smart objects that don't even exist in Lightroom. So just in Photoshop, we want to make sure we go to convert to smart object first. All right, so let's go ahead and hit that. We have our little smart object icon right here. That's how you know you're a smart object. Okay, so here in our layer zero, we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna go right down to where it says camera raw filter. Now these are brand new updates. So just be sure you use Creative Cloud to update both camera raw and Photoshop. There we go, camera raw filter. And here we go. So those of you who are not familiar with the camera raw filter, let's just go ahead and resize this a little bit. The new updates are within our masking. So by default, this might look a little bit like Lightroom. I can change my exposure, contrast, highlights and shadows, things like that. And this is gonna affect my entire image if I just click and drag these sliders, as we can see. But let's say we wanna mask out just the eyes or just my subject's uh, skin, things like that. We can do that with the new masking tools. So over here on the right hand side, we've got our adjustments, we've got our like spot replacement, and right down here, we've got our masking. So let's go ahead and click on our masking. Now, you can see we've got a couple new icons here. We can mask our entire subject out. We can do a sky or we can do a background, but this is where the new power comes in, where it says people. So you want to make sure you find the people in your images. So we're just going to click on this people one. Now, this is absolutely amazing. We have our person one identified. You can select the entire person, or if I want to, I can just select their skin, their eyebrows, and you can see on the left hand side, it's hovering over what it's actually in effect. The eye sclera, which is the whites of the eyes, the iris and the pupil, or just the hair. So in this case, let's go ahead and select the iris and the pupil. I'm gonna hit Control or Command plus a couple times to kind of zoom in. We're gonna see that's what's gonna get selected. And then you just hit Create right over here. So let's hit Create. Now this creates a mask inside of Adobe Camera Raw. So now with this mask available, I have all of these access to these tools. For instance, maybe I just want to come down here and bring the saturation of the eyes up. I can just change this. And because that masking is automatic, this is extremely easy for me to do. Maybe I want to bring up a little bit more blue. Maybe I want to just bring up a little bit of contrast and bring my highlights a little bit brighter. There we go. Now with this mask, I have so many amazing options. I've got this little eyeball. I could just turn this off and back on so I can kind of see my before and after. You know what? I'm going to bring my exposure up just a little bit and my contrast a little bit more. Let's bring up my saturation. I really want to like have a like nice before and after where you can actually see there's our before and after. So let's say we want to go ahead and make a, another mask. Let's go ahead and right click here. Just go to create new mask, just regular click. Again, same old options like we've had in the past to select subjects, sky and backgrounds. But now these new ones, we've got select objects and people. So let's go to select people again. There we go. And here we have our options for the entire person. And these options right here are going to change based on what you are actually going to find in your image. So sometimes it'll actually allow you to select like body skin and things like that if there's a visible body. So let's go to our face skin. I'm just going to click on that. There we go and hit create. Now, for instance, if I want to bring my shadow levels, let's go ahead where it says shadows. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit. And it's going to like brighten up the shadows in the just the skin of this person's face. And this is looking really, really good. Keep in mind, all this is in Adobe Camera Raw. And we can change this at any time because we're using that smart object workflow. We're going to show you how to do that in just a second. So we talked about like <laughs> wanting to select just this person's clothing. 
Now you saw we didn't have an option that said select clothing, but we got a really cool trick that I want to show you. We're going to use select subject first and then our advanced masking tools to subtract out their face. So let's show you how to do that because these, are, these tools are incredibly, incredibly powerful and they really like blow the socks off of the functionality of both Adobe Camera Raw and the entire Lightroom suite. They're so much more powerful now. So let's go ahead and click right here on create a new mask. We're just going to click that and we're going to go to select subject. So this is just going to select my entire subject. Here we can see. Now, what I want to do is subtract out the face, the eyebrows, the skin. I just want to subtract all that from the selection. So we're going to go to this subtract icon right over here. And this is going to allow me to subtract out from my current selection. So let's hit subtract. And then again, I have all of these same options. I'm going to go to select people. There we go. Instead of entire person, we're just going to go face, skin, eyebrows. And I'm going to check all of these boxes. There we go. So they're all checked. Okay, so everything of those is going to be selected. And then we're going to hit create right here. So if as I hover over here, you're going to see on the left hand side what's actually going to be selected. Okay, so keep in mind what we just did is we started off with a select subject, selecting our entire subject. And now I'm subtracting out all of my subjects face. So as I hit create, here we can see, okay, we started off with select subject, and then we subtracted all of this stuff out. And this is the mask that we're left with, which is basically just their clothing. So we can see with these new tools, it gets more and more powerful because we can use additive and subtractive tools with our masks. All right, so let's go ahead and check that out. And now that we have that, well, all I have to do here, let's go ahead and go, we're going to click right there on my mask. Fantastic. And now I've got the same tools. So let's say I would just want to bring my shadow levels up. This is just affecting the clothing, right? Because we started by selecting our entire subject, and then I minus out their whole face, right? So incredibly cool tools. Let's bring up our exposure there, our color temperature. Let's just pull that a little bit more towards blue. And then I can just turn this off and back on. So see how I was able to like get back all of that beautiful detail from our subjects clothing, such, such cool tools. You could just turn all of these off and back on. on. Again, we did our subjects eyes. We went ahead and lightened up the shadows in their face and of course their clothing. So this is all within the camera raw dialog. So let's go ahead and hit OK here on the bottom right. And this just pops us right back into Photoshop. OK, so we have our background layer. Now, because we're using a smart object, this shows up as a smart filter. And we have our camera raw filter. So now, check this out. This camera raw filter, I've got this little eye icon right there. I can just turn that off and back on, just as like any other filter using any other tool in Photoshop. So all of these new tools, they just add to our functionality in Photoshop. And then from here, I could go up and do some spot removal. And if I wanted to like get rid of this hair here, I could do that with some like a clone stamp tool or a spot healing brush tool. But we're in Photoshop is the whole idea. Like all of these brand new tools are available for us. It is so easy to just really enhance your subject. Now, because we're using this smart object workflow, we can get back and change these at any time. So all you have to do if you want to change some things, like if I decided, hey, maybe I want this to be a little bit less blue on on the uh, uh, her clothing. All we have to do is double click right here where it says camera raw filter. OK, just double click right there and it just brings us right back into camera raw. So I'm going to click right over here on the very right hand side, this little circle with some dots around it. OK, that's my masks. And here's my mask that I created for my subject's clothing. And I could go down here and I could say, you know what, maybe I want it to be more on the warm side. Here we go. Or maybe I want it to be a little bit more on the green side. So I'm not having to come back in here or a little bit on the uh, magenta side. That's kind of look, looking pretty cool. So I don't have to go back in here and recreate all this masks because we're using smart objects. All of this is saved for us. So I can go back in here and let's say this person's face skin. I want to make some changes. Maybe I just want to make the exposure like a little bit brighter. Maybe I want to bring the shadow levels or the highlights down a little bit more and the shadow levels even a little bit higher. I can hit OK. It's going to make all those changes automatically and update here in my document. So these new masking tools are absolutely incredible. They're a total game changer. Don't forget, you guys can download this sample image and PSD. Just click on the link right down below. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe. We've got new videos coming up soon that are going to show you how to do all these amazing tools in Lightroom Mobile, Lightroom Desktop, and Lightroom Classic. Thanks so much, and I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone.